Welcome to this MockLogic video tutorial for MockLogic University. In this episode, you will learn how to connect MockLogic with Power BI for data analysis. In this video, you will learn the basics about accessing your MockLogic data using Power BI, including describe the different methods to connect MockLogic to Power BI, create views with MockLogic template-driven extraction, Import and visualize your data in Power BI. MockLogic is great for integrating a variety of data silos into a single database, bringing all the relevant data together in one place. Once the data is persisted and secured, businesses want to be able to query it and get answers to questions like, what were my travel expenses last quarter? What are they right now? What were my sales figures last year? Or maybe they just want to explore data to possibly discover new insights. A traditional way for answering these questions is through classical business analytics solutions like Power BI. Power BI lets you connect to MockLogic, access data, and visualize it in reports. MockLogic can connect to Power BI through the MockLogic ODBC connector or the MockLogic REST API. Let's have a look at these two options. The MockLogic ODBC connector uses the MockLogic ODBC driver to query MockLogic data through SQL. The ODBC driver may offer two different access modes to your data, import mode and direct query. The import mode lets you dump a snapshot of your data into Power BI. That means your data is not queried live each time you want to visualize it in reports. It's a good option for static data sets like last quarter's figures. Expect good performance with this mode as the data lives in memory. For data sets that get updated regularly, you can schedule a refresh so the data gets automatically re-imported at a specified frequency. This will allow you to always view the latest data. The other ODBC access mode is direct query. This mode offers a direct connection to the data source. It is useful if real-time results is a requirement. Every time the business needs to visualize data, the data source will be queried live. When using this mode, performance will depend on your database query optimization and network speed. Direct query will be available in an upcoming release of MockLogic ODBC Connector. Our second option to connect MockLogic with Power BI is through the MockLogic REST API. It is a good option if you do not want to limit yourself to SQL and benefit from MockLogic features such as full text search, geospatial search, bitemporal, and semantics through a simple web call. For our on-hands example, we will load the dataset of a fictitious company named Global Superstore. The company data includes worldwide orders, customers, and returns. We will model the data using MockLogic Template-Driven Extraction, or TDE. Then we will connect it to Power BI using the MockLogic ODBC connector and generate a dashboard showing different charts like the ones on this page. We will also show how we can easily connect MockLogic to Power BI via the MockLogic REST API. To connect to this dataset via ODBC, we will need to create three views, an orders view, a people view, and a returns view. Template-driven extraction, or TDE, will help us create these views. First, we will need to identify the parts of our document's data that we want to expose as SQL views. Next. For each view, we will create a template that specifies what that view looks like and save it to our database. A template is a document, XML or JSON, that declares how a view is to be populated. It defines a context, the root path of all the documents that are involved in this view. Then, for each column in the view, it defines a column name, data type, and a path to the data inside the documents. There is no physical extraction, copying, or changes to the underlying documents. Instead, a row index is generated for you to query using SQL or the Optic API. 
So let's do it. To follow along with this tutorial, you will need to download and install MockLogic 9 and the MockLogic ODBC connector. Download and install Power BI Desktop and make sure the version word length match. That is, if you install the 64-bit version of Power BI, you must use the 64-bit version of the MockLogic ODBC driver. The same rule applies for the 32-bit version. And download the hands-on file from MockLogic University GitHub site at github.com slash University slash bi tools. Once you have downloaded the MockLogic Power BI tutorial folder from the MockLogic University GitHub site, you should have a folder with this structure. Let's import the workspace in Query Console. The workspace is composed of three tabs that will help us create a TDE template for the orders, people, and returns data. Then we have three tabs with MLCP instructions to import our orders, people, and return data to a database. Then we have a couple of tabs that help us check that our views were created successfully and that they are populated with our global superstore data. Finally, we have a tab that will help us create an ODBC application server to allow us to communicate with our document database through the ODBC driver. For simplicity, we will use the out-of-the-box documents database to load our data. But now, let's run the scripts that create TDE templates which define our views. If the TDE templates were created successfully, you should have messages that look like this. Order TDE.XML OK. People TDE.XML OK. Returns TDE.XML OK. To learn more about TDE, watch the Using Template Driven Extraction video tutorial on mlu.marklogic.com slash on demand. Now let's use MLCP to load the global superstore data to our documents database. The documents database is available at port 8000 through an out of the box RESTful HTTP app server. That will be useful to load our global superstore data with MLCP. If you're getting started with MLCP, please look up the Getting Started with MLCP guide at this address. The MLCP loading instructions are in the MLCP workspace tabs. Once the MLCP bin directory has been added to your path, open a new command line and make sure you navigate to the MarkLogic Power BI tutorial config directory. The config directory contains MLCP import instructions to import our orders, people, and returns data that are within the data directory. Let's now import our orders data, which should take some time. Simply let MLCP run for a few minutes. Once the orders have been loaded, you can check within the MLCP script load orders tab that you have orders within the documents database. Next, let's load our people data and returns data. From the same command line, we can just paste the MLCP options to load our people CSV file. Next, let's load our returns data. Once this is done, you can check that you have people and that you have returns in your documents database. Next, let's select the Select Count tab 
and run the script to verify that we do have views in our Customer 360 schema and that our views contain data. Next, we also have a different tab allowing us to check that we do have views created for our Customer 360 schema in our system tables. If you'd like, you can start a new tab, switch to SQL, and test that you can write an SQL query against your, one of your views. Even though we can use SQL to query this data within MarkLogic, in order to make this database available or these views available to our Power BI software, we need to create an ODBC app server. So please select this tab and run the script. You're now ready to install the MarkLogic ODBC driver. Once that is done, you want to create a DSN. Your DSN should look like this. The database should be documents. The server should match your machine name. Credential should match uh, your system credentials. Admin, admin in our case. And this port is the port at which we have an ODBC application server. You can test that this connection works. Once your configuration is saved, you should be able to use it within Power BI. Let's import our global superstore data within Power BI. From Power BI desktop, let's click the Get Data icon, then More, then Other, ODBC, Let's use the drop down and find our MarkLogic SQL DSN and click OK. Our schema and view now appear in the navigator window. Let's expand our customer 360 schema and see that we have three views. Let's select the one that are interesting, orders, people and return. We can choose to either load or edit the data. Once our data has been loaded and may be edited, we can view it and create charts. In this tutorial, You've learned how to model data for SQL queries, how to access MarkLogic data with Power BI using the MarkLogic ODPC connector. As a next step, make sure you go out and get MarkLogic and access all the examples for this tutorial through the MarkLogic University GitHub site. And for additional training needs, make sure to check out marklogic.com training, where you can learn about all our different courses and learning resources that are available to you for free.